Thank you. Please give your sales and your children a big round of applause. First of all, I want to thank two very special men in my life. Number one, my Heavenly Father. And secondly, Mr. Alfonso Mugetta. Without them both, uh, I truly would be lost. Uh, one carries the favor from the other box beside me. So thank, a big thank you goes out to the both of you. Next, I want to thank the women of my heart, my darling mother, and my daughter Hannah. Um, these ladies can make me the maddest in one minute, and I can love them the next. Thank you. Uh, now I want to thank, if I can please have all the state directors backstage, I want to thank uh, some very special ladies. Uh, as they say, every good man is a great woman. Well, I am fortunate enough to have many great women stand behind me. If I could have on the stage Heather Ingram, she is your Florida State Director. Please put your hands together for these people. They have worked for the best of all players to make this possible. Yes. Ms. Teresa Malini, Ms. North Carolina, as I call it. Yes. Ms. Louisiana, Louisiana Kelly Dardar. Miss Texas Women Hughes. Miss yeah. Shimmer, I'm sorry. <laughs> Miss South Carolina Teresa Easler. Yeah. And there's always a close tie between some. Miss Georgia Lacey Strickland. Yeah. And also Miss Georgia Angie Pearson. And there's also a tie between these two great ladies. Miss Tennessee, Miss E. Bryan, and Michelle Bryan. Again, I thank you so much. They just do not know. They just do not know. Please give them a huge, huge round of applause. Stage, please. They're just dying to get off there. They might be missed of their state, but they don't like to be on the stage. Probably no more than I do. Do you have the envelopes for them hanging over there? Okay, I'm sorry ladies. I've got your envelope ready. I think I've left it in the room, but it's already prepared for you. Okay, sorry. But we got the kids money. Okay, now before we get started, many of you all have been around for a long time, some of you are just maybe now getting it. Sit down, In 2005, I let you drink here at Lake Hunter Beach. Oh. On June the 26th of 2005, and we came back here to this very hotel because I came back to get that drink. And I do totally thank each and every one of you. You don't know how much it means to me that you're here for the first year of International Fresh Spaces. And it is my every quest and my every promise to every person in this ballroom that you will always be treated fairly at this time. No matter who you are, whether it's your first pageant or your hundredth pageant. And I promise you that on my law. And I hope that every one of you can leave this room today and know whether you came home with the ground or you didn't, that you got a fair shake. Because ladies and gentlemen, I'm telling you, you got one this week. Okay? And that's a 100% for sure thing. There's going to be any twists and turns to this very ceremony. You're going to see things. That to some of you may look a little round, but the three judges that judged this weekend didn't know anyone here. And that was the purpose of that. And we were sure. So you got an honest, honest winner. I told each and every one of you, I had some phone calls through the course of the last two days, and people come to me with great concerns. But I told everybody in this ballroom how we were going to judge this pageant. 
over and over again. I told you a hundred times, if I told you one, we're not judging modeling. This is not a modeling show, and this is not a fashion show. We judge your face and your personality going I told my judges from shoulders up. Okay? And that is what they do. So, when you say that, when you put your eyes on and just don't think of what the child's going for, let's think about what happened on the stage here this weekend, okay? And think, shoulders up, and get that modeling out of your head and that dress, because it did not matter. Um, we had a lot of questions, but on Saturday, we got into our 5 to 10 category, and there was a lot of makeup and swimwear. I had went over that in great detail with everybody. And when we saw it, and I knew that the judges, how they felt about it already, because I had told them and briefed them over and over again. I just didn't get three judges. I had five, and I fired two, because they, I talked to them interview style to see what their thoughts were on skin color, hair color, but their skin was white, black, blue, green, it didn't matter, and that's what I wanted. It didn't matter if you had short hair, long hair, that didn't matter. We were judging your face. But so many of the people just can't see it over and over again. I had kids over here crying their eyes out in the 13 to 15 category backstage because they tripped. I don't care if you tripped. I told the judges and I told many, many, many of you if you talk to me on the phone about that modeling thing, that I would go as far as to tell them if the child tripped and fell on the stage, as long as they had a smile on their face when they got up, then I didn't care. That I was the child with the prettiest face and the best personality to go home Monday with the ground. And that's what they said. Get prepared. Get prepared. All right. I think I've talked long enough. I want to thank some other very special people, and I don't have to say your names, because you know who you are, uh, for being here and all of your support and help through that entire week, because you know that I couldn't do this job if it wasn't. And you know who you are, all of you. So um, again, I want to turn the microphone back over our MC, but she does a much better job of this, and is much prettier than I am. Um, and we're going to get on with our panic ceremony. Again, thank you all for being here. Oh,